Nicaragua Clásico. And Clásico is one of my best-selling cigars in Europe. And don't forget, Hoya de Nicaragua had been in the market for 42 years. And my best market is Europe. It's not the United States. 45% of my total production comes to the United States. But 55% of what I produce goes to Europe. And that had been my best cigar. When we initiated our new relation with Drew Estate as our sole distributor of Hoya de Nicaragua in the United States, Steve Saka and everybody in Drew Estate said, why don't we bring back the classical? You know? So we brought, it we brought it in. But obviously its sales have been, you know, people buy it, it's true, but people not, are not crazy. And I always question, we have the reputation of making the strongest cigar in the industry with the Antaños. Is it probably that the conception that people have that they cannot see a Hoya de Nicaragua in the medium rather than the full body? So I said, I'm going to do something. Going through Chicago in one store, I asked a lady, what about if I blended this cigar with a different blend the classical, because it's a different blend, a little bit of difference, and I put on the top of it this uh, black or dark wrapper. Would it be attractive for you to buy it? I said, yeah, that's very interesting. So I went back, I talked to my friends in Drew State and said, listen, I have a crazy idea. I want to put it because I want to convince people that Hoya de Nicaragua is in all the ball games. It's in the full body ball game with a lot of success so far, and I hope it keeps like that. <laughs> support. Okay. Uh, it's in the good game of mild cigars with the classical. And now we have the celebration in the medium body, but with this, with this cabineta, you have a blend of two things. Once you start lighting the cigar, you're going to go smoothly and milky. But then, different from the classical, it gets a little bit stronger. Okay. It doesn't go to the top. It doesn't intend to go to the top either. It wants to keep itself within the medium range. And thus, we have done that thanks to the blending of the Nicaraguan tobacco that, that we blend in our factory with a little bit of Ligeros in it, but very light, very little. Okay. And this is the cigar that we have uh, brought to the market in 2010. Uh, really, we released, we showed some samples of it in, in the last I, IPCPR uh, in New Orleans. And we, I had a discussion with Jonathan Drew, the, one of the owners of Drew State. He said, no, that cigar is going to confuse people. People are going to continue to get confused that Hoya de Nicaragua can make that cigar. I said, let's give it a try. Let's go store by store. Let's not make it, you know, in the whole country, a big lunch of the cigar in the whole country. Let's see how, how people react to it. And that's what we've been doing. That's why in California, uh, we, we started here with GM, GMG. GMG. They, they were the ones that uh, were choosing some of the stores where they were distributing. And we are not going to, uh, nationwide with a big, big lunch of it. We are going to, on unique stores that we think can appreciate this kind of cigar. So that's the story of the Cabineta, which is my new release for 2010. But since I have the floor, and I always <laughs> like to talk a lot, I want to take advantage to say, but we also releasing, and part of the reason why I'm here today is because we are formally releasing in this section, even though people are already familiar with the cigar, the Hoya de Nicaragua Antonio Dark Rojo, which is a completely different animal to the one that uh, we were talking earlier. This is what I call my culmination of trying to blend 
Ligeros Tabacos from Nicaragua, which, by the way, once you get familiar with the language of tobacco and know what a Ligero is, you will understand that when you open that cigar, if one day you want to open it, you will find that there are three levels of Ligeros. The Ligero, for those who don't know or haven't been to a plantation, is the top of the leaves of the cigars. Okay? These are the ones that stay the longer under the sun. So it, it, it contains greater amount of nicotine. Okay? It's very thick and it's very difficult to roll. And even more difficult is to make it burn. Okay? So trying to accommodate the, 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 the cigar, the, the, the tobacco, in a way that will be enjoyable is in itself a, master, a masterpiece. Not because I've done it, okay? Because it's, everything I've done is because of the kind of people that I work with in my factory. They are the ones that come every day in the morning, roll the cigar, make sure it's the same blend, make sure it has the same structure, that it will burn the same way, each one of them that you, 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 you smoke. And it is thanks to them that I'm doing this, it's because I see them motivated and passionate, that I say, I'm going to go out and share that passion with my customers, so that people will really appreciate having in their mouth what a Hoya de Nicaragua is doing this year with the Dark Corojo, as well as with the Garbineta, obviously. But the Dark Corojo is now going to be launched nationally in all the stores around the country. I want that for everybody, and I said to several friends just a few seconds ago, here is a store, a very traditional store, very beautiful store. You have many cigars. I would say 99% of what is here is good cigars. They are all co we are all competing. I'm not afraid of competition, but what I want is when you walked in and you were used to buying two Antanios and buy somebody else's, that you continue buying my two Antanios and try this one new. <laughs> <laughs> and you add up one more cigar to your list, okay? So that's the purpose of this visit. I appreciate your time. Thank you for accompanying us this afternoon, believe me. Even though I have seven hours fly behind my back, uh, I wanted to share these thoughts with you for appreciating what you've already, already done. Be here with us this afternoon. Thank you to the thank owners. You. And thank you.